I am back on iRacing for another endurance race and this one is the big one. 24 hours around the Nordschleife with the entire race being live streamed on the channel. Hey guys and welcome along to another video. If this is your first time here and you like watching all sorts of sim racing related stuff, subscribe now and click the bell icon so you get notified of every video I upload and you don't miss a thing. You join me here on one of my earliest practice laps in preparation for the Nürburgring 24 hour special event on iRacing. This is one of the most legendary motorsporting events in the world. Any 24 hour race is a feat in itself, but throwing the 16 mile long Nordschleife or Green Hell as it's commonly known, and you have an epic test one that I just had to take on. Now the details of the stream and event are that the race starts at 1300 GMT on Saturday the 4th of May. I will schedule the stream so make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell icon clicked so you get reminders before the event. The amazing dynamic day stroke night transition will take us through the day to the sunset and into the night as the race goes on. The sun will then rise again the next morning with the race finishing 24 hours later at 1300 GMT on Sunday the 5th of May. We are running in the car that you see me in now, the Merc, but it will be in a bespoke R&R &R and R&R &R livery that you will see on the day. All the other GT3 cars are eligible for this one, also there will be the Mazdas. So there will be a big golfing speed between us, well all the GT3 cars and the Mazdas, so they are gonna pose a real hazard throughout the event. Now, as some of you may know, this isn't my first attempt at a special event in iRacing. Earlier in the year, I teamed up with Charlie Roscoe to do the Bathurst 12 hours in the Mercedes as well. Now, the result didn't go quite the way we wanted, mainly due to our lack of experience in this format of racing and there were some early incidents that were down to pushing too hard that really hampered our race and when I say we spent a few hours in the pits I am not exaggerating I think we were around 90 laps off the lead by the end of the race so needless to say we do not want a repeat of that and if we can avoid it at all in this one now despite being incredibly tough the Bathurst event was really positive as it taught us a lot about this type of racing and now we have valuable experience of how you can navigate a race like this. And we've got the mantra for this one that is often used in insurance races and that is just be there at the end. Now what this means for us in reality is just taking care of the car. That is our number one priority. We're not going to push too hard so that when the latter hours come and the sun rises the next morning we are still in good shape towards the end of the race. Very much like the tortoise and the hare, slow and steady is going to win this one for us. Well, not win it, it might do, but you get what I mean. So we're going to be very, very risk averse in this one. We're going to be uber careful around the track, staying away from the kerbs and giving incidents and slower cars like the Mazdas or anyone that's damaged a real wide berth. The last thing we want to do is bin it on the opening lap and then have to spend ages in the pits and contend with a damaged car for the next 24 hours. So, 24 hours. This race is twice as long as the last one we did at Bathurst. So we've roped in two additional drivers. One is the friend of Charlie Roscoe's channel, Ryan, and I have also brought in fellow ERT esports driver, Dr. Rob. Despite being on the other side of the world, the split of two Aussies and two Brits works out really well for a race of this length. So me and Rob are going to do the first 12 hours during our day when the other two are asleep and the Aussies are going to bring us home for the second 12 hours whilst we sleep. And as I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be streaming each and every hour of this one, all 24 of them. But when I'm not driving, I'll be hanging out with you guys and supporting the others. 
but when I am resting, the race coverage will be shown so you do not miss a thing. I hope everybody joins us for this huge test. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you're going to be joining us and how long you think you're going to stay with us for. Remember, the race will be starting at 1300 GMT on the day, but the stream will be going live a little bit beforehand. I'll make sure it's scheduled so that you guys get a notification and you don't miss a thing. But for now, guys, that is the end of this quick announcement video. I hope you enjoyed this video and are looking forward to the event as much as we are. If you did like the video, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the Norge Life. Cheers.